Well, first, uh, through the decommissioning process, there's no requirement or NRC requirement to maintain a cooling pool. And you won't see cooling pools maintained through any of the decommissioned plants across the United States so far. And yeah, I believe through the full decommissioning process of Crystal River, theirs will be dismantled as well. Um, nonetheless, that's the requirement piece of it. Then you get into the situation about a canister and the potential for stress crows and cracking, as Tom mentioned. And you get into a situation where if you desire to put a canister back into a wet cooling pool, a, a welded sealed canister, um, it would be a very tricky and difficult operation. I don't believe it's been done yet. Perhaps with a bolted lid canister, it's been done once in the United States, but it's not a proven technique. There's no pathway for success there that's, that we could outline now. <clears throat> There's actually better ways to deal with a canister that has an issue in situ or by other methods, like an overpack and shipping it off, than there would be for putting it back into a pool. So. There's been a lot of discussion around it. I think at some point we should address it in more detail in the future. Yeah, and, and again- I have a quick question. Sir. Doug Botter, the chief nuclear officer, just admitted that he doesn't think that they could return a canister back to the pool. Now the NRC- I think what he said he's not aware of. Well, he hasn't been done and he, you know, yeah, okay. So, so in, right now, NRC requires that they be able to do that. That's a condition of their license, that is correct. correct? That's correct. So he's sitting here basically telling you he doesn't think they can do it. Yeah, and so what's your reaction going to be to that? I'm, obviously, I need to go back and look into that. And but, I need to make sure I understand what he had said, meant, or otherwise. And, and OK, let's let's get real, Hill. You, you know, and I know, that it's never been done before. You know the NRC doesn't. Actually, I don't know that. I, you I don't, don't know that? I don't. OK, then, then probably. Um, You'd be surprised. I don't, there's a lot well, of things no, that happen I would, in the world I would that I would not. Know about. I would not be surprised at what you do, do not know. I would not at all. I've worked with a lot of different NRC people, and they all have a different level of expertise. So. Backgrounds, experience. Yes, so. exactly. So, yeah. So you can go check, but I, I have reached. I'm aware of the condition of the license. In order to get the license, yes, they have okay, to but, demonstrate but if, their ability to retrieve provide, the fuel. But if he's providing evidence to you, right, right no, now, I heard, I heard that. So that, to me, should be an investigation all of its own. It's, um, like I said, it's, yeah, I yeah. saw and, me and taking notes. Yeah. Start the I'm not going to inspect yeah. it right now. I'm going to, I, yeah, I, I got to go I'm home just, and you know, I mean, my office. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> I mean, I, okay, but you heard what I heard. They're cast some doubt here that they could yep. do what their license says they can do. So it's something we will validate. 